All right, Garrett, so here we are at TWB Co-op Brewery. Tell us a little bit about the brewery and what we're uh, drinking here. So TWB, together we're bitter. It's a co-op brewery here in the Kitchener-Waterloo area. So a very unique style of brewery simply because it is a co-op. And for those who are not entirely sure what a co-op brewery might be, it's essentially a bunch of people that put together a brewery that are worker owners. So those who are working here also have a stake of ownership in the company. Something very honorable and I think, I think it's wonderful, you know, as, as opposed to just the employer-employee relationship, you actually have a stake in the company that you're working for. So as you can see, they have little worker bees sort of on the, the sampling glasses here. Uh, homage to that everyone working here is doing it for the greater good of the entire company so I think that was super cool uh, we have a great little selection of uh, the beers they have here I think one of each is really what we went for a number of different stuff they do a lot of traditional styles here so you're gonna see APAs IPAs saisons as well as a Klutbusser which is actually pretty unique so a very classic German style beer kind of goes right to the, the, the roots of brewing. For the most part, it is something that kind of came into play before all the German purity laws of uh, the Rundheitsgebot, as, as they might call it. So a, a very interesting selection of beers. My One of my favorites here is the, uh, the Bulk Summer Klotbusser. To be brutally honest, when you smell it, the first aromas I'm getting are cannabis. And although hops, if you didn't know, first cousin to the cannabis plant, so that's not very far-fetched by any means. Which ones have you tried so far, Andy? I tried the Moose IPA. Moose a la Moo. Cool name. It's a very cool name. It's actually really nice. New England IPA. Yeah. Kind of subtle, not too hoppy. It's quite yeah. nice. Yeah. Very reminiscent of a New England IPA style yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. The Cod Buster, like I mentioned. What's sort of notes of cannabis, but like a dry. The, the crayon. The crayon. I think that was their cranberry IPA or the, the cranberry cot buster. So they have a couple varieties, which is supposed another. to be very, very subtle and light. Usually they add, you know, in German style, they'll add a little bit of a juice to it, similar to a Berliner Weiss. So I guess that's why they add the, the cranberry to that one. It's so nice. Kind of add a, a juicy punch to it. So I'm nice. I'm gonna try this, that one in a hot, bit for this sure. hot day, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. A nice it's little super cranberry. Super refreshing. Absolutely. So voila. Fall, fall. <laughs> Uh, really great spot here. I'm excited to check out the next place on the tour and uh, yeah, we'll finish up a few of these and keep going. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching that video where we visited TWB in Kitchener, Ontario. If you like that video, might as well hit that like button, hit subscribe as well. Absolutely, TWB, a brewing collective, super unique in the craft beer industry, so I'm happy we got to check them out and taste a few of their craft beers. Uh, next ones that are coming up, so definitely stay tuned. We're gonna be checking out Counterpoint Brewing as well as Wavemaker in the KW area.